Are you an HR professional looking to make a weekly timesheet in Excel? Then I have some good news for you. This video will demonstrate a step-by-step -step guide on it. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel Vivia related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a weekly timesheet in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Before further ado, let's know what a weekly timesheet actually is. A weekly timesheet is a resource for determining how much time an employee spends working. This data can be used to compute payment and estimate the time staff members devote to particular jobs. Creating a weekly timesheet in Excel is particularly helpful because of the ability to customize it easily. Moreover, spreadsheets are repeatable for every employee. First of all, I need some particulars of the employee, such as the employee's name, ID, the project he or she is working on, contact information, contract salary, etc. I'll place them at the top of the weekly timesheet I'm going to create in Excel. First, merge the range B2 to L2. Go to the alignment section and click on merge and center icon. Insert the title here. Type it, weekly timesheet for Stella Industries. Press enter. Again, click on cell B2. In the style section, click on the cell styles drop down icon and select heading 2. Now it looks like a perfect sheet heading. Just increase the font size a little bit and that's perfect. Now I'll put in the particulars. In cell B4, write employee name. Then employee ID. Telephone. Email. Department and project manager's name. In cell I5, type down date, working hours, hourly rate, and overtime rate. Now, merge these cells to make the timesheet more presentable. I'll do the merging in columns B and C. Similarly, merge them also. Now, select all those cells and make them left aligned. Change the font style to bold. Increase the font size to 12 and apply fill color to these cells. Similarly, merge the cells beside them also. Select cells in the B4 to E9 range. Press and hold the control key and also select cells in the I5 to L8 range. Now, apply all borders. Now they looks perfect. Then input all the entries in these blank cells. I'm assuming the employee name as Scott Jefferson. And the employee ID is. Then the telephone number is email ID, corresponding department, and the name of the project manager. You can be flexible here with the information available in D4 to E9. I have input them randomly. However, particulars from K5 to L8 are a must and will be used later on for the calculations. Let's fill these cells up. Let's write down a date in cell K5. Here I want to show the date in the long format. So select these cells, go to the number section, in the number format drop down icon, Select long date format and here it is. Normally working hours are considered as 8 hours. So I'm writing 8. And the regular hourly rate I'm giving 25. And the overtime rate I'm taking it as 40. Let's format these two cells in accounting format. Now that I've got the particular set for the data set, I'm going to prepare some cells below to insert headers. Insert the column headings in the B11 to L11 range. First, insert B11, date, then day, starting time, ending time, break start, break end, absence hour, overtime hour start, overtime hour end. Regular work period. Overtime period. 
they look awkward now but don't get tensed i'll have it fixed select all the cells make them bold middle aligned and center aligned increase the font size apply a fill color here i'm selecting the gold accent for lighter 80%. Now go to the alignment section and click on wrap text icon. Look how beautiful they are looking now. A bit ago we inserted a date in cell K5. This indicates the starting date of the weekly timesheet I am going to create in Excel. Now I'll create the dates of a week. So select cell B12 and insert the formula equal to cell k5 press enter change the cell format click on the cell go to the number section in the number format drop down select short date and here it is in cell b13 insert another formula equal to b12 plus 1 press enter now drag the fill handle down to cell b18 auto fit the column width to show these contents for days select cell c12 and insert a formula equal to here i'll use the text function press tab to insert the highlighted function as the value argument select cell b12 plus a comma and as the format text argument i'll insert four d's close the parenthesis and press enter is showing saturday now fill the formula down to cell c18 select all these cells in this range and apply all borders The starting and end time as well as the break time inputs are to be put manually in this timesheet. They can vary depending on the day so I can't do much with that. I need to prepare the absence hour column in a such way that it calculates the break time automatically. For ease of calculation, let's first fill up some standard values for the manual inputs. Now insert the formula in cell H12 equal to g12 minus f12 press enter replicate it till cell h18 i need to calculate the regular period and the overtime period an employee is working next to find the hours he is working select cell k12 and insert the formula is equal to opening parenthesis e12 minus d12 minus h12 multiplied by 24 and press enter here i have multiplied it with 24 to convert it to hours to show the value in hours i have to change the format so press ctrl plus one select number category and click on ok now use the fill handle to auto fill the result now i have to calculate the overtime period in column l but before that i have to enter the overtime hour start and overtime hour end manually so let's do it Now go to cell L12 and insert the formula equal to open the parenthesis J12 minus I12 closing the parenthesis into 24 and press enter. Similarly change the format of this cell also and use the fill handle. As rate is different for regular and overtime hours I have calculated them separately. Now I am going to calculate the total weekly hours of each section separately too. Excel offers the sum function that can take up a range of values and returns the total of them. That fits our purpose here. First, give a heading weekly hours in cell I19. Select this range, make it merge and center. Also, change the font style to bold, increase the font size and insert a fill color. I'm choosing blue accent 1 lighter 80%. Select cell K19 and give the formula equal to sum function as the number 1 argument select K12 to K18. Close the parenthesis and enter. Similarly in cell L19 equal to sum L12 to L18. Close the parenthesis and enter. Here 54 is the total weekly hours for regular work period and 7.50 is the total week hours for overtime period. It's a common practice to have the weekly payment calculated in the same worksheet. So let's cover that too. You can skip it depending on whether or not you want to have them in your version. Keep the heading in cell I20. Type it total payments. Copy the formatting of cell I19. 
and paste it on cell I20. Select cells in the K20 to L20 range and make them merged and center. Select these cells and apply all borders. Now go to cell K20 and insert the formula equal to K19 into K7 plus L19 K8 and enter. And here's the result. Let's apply some formatting to mark the weekends in the timesheet. You may have noticed that all days of the week are here in the timesheet. I'll be applying conditional formatting here so that the formatting remains dynamic too. In my case, I'm assuming Sunday will be the weekend. So, select cells in the B12 to L18, then go to the Home tab. In the Styles group, click on the conditional formatting drop-down icon. Select the New Rule option. In the new formatting rule window, select use a formula to determine which cells to format as the rule type. In the edit the rule description section, I'll put my formula here. Equal to a dollar sign C12 equal to Sunday. Click on the format button, go to the fill tab, click on more colors button, go to the custom tab. In the RGB color model, change the value of green and blue to 147. I'm choosing this color. You can choose according to your preference. Click OK. Here's the sample. Again, click OK. Click OK to close the dialog box. The row with Sunday in it is formatted with the selected fill color. If you have more than one weekend, repeat the process for each day. The timesheet is completed at this point, but let's test it out for new entries and see if it's working dynamically or not. First, let's change the starting weekday to a new one in cell K5. The days and dates are automatically changed in the timesheet. As you can see, the weekend format also shifts. Now let's try inserting new values in this row. We can see the weekly hours and total payments changed automatically after the entries. Thus, we can conclude our weekly timesheet is working dynamically. In this tutorial, I have shown necessary steps to create a weekly timesheet in Excel. Follow them carefully to create it yourself. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and vba challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users if you like this video consider subscribing and click the bell icon thanks for watching